All right, I've got this logo that I knocked up for my daughter's business idea, which is Wear Your Bear. She came out wearing this leopard print dressing gown cord crossed over with a bear tucked inside, and she even drew me her logo. So cute. So we had a little fun on Sunday, and I made her a quick logo for her fledgling business idea. Now, in our design, the bear has these crisscross straps going across the body. And I'm just going to make these pink so I can show you what's going on. I want the bear's head and feet in front of the straps. So I'm going to press Command and Control Shift right square bracket to bring these to the front. But I want the bear's shoulders going behind the straps and the paws in front. Trouble is the arms are just one shape, so when I bring them to the front, the shoulders come with it. Now I could copy the arms, duplicate them in place, Command and Control F, and bring the copy to the front. Then I can press Shift and E for the eraser tool and just cut away the shoulders. Or I can use the intertwine tool to swap the order of just the paws. And I do that by selecting my shapes and going to Object, Intertwine, Make. And then I just tap on the sections that overlap to swap them. Nice! I'm just gonna change my straps back to white for the full effect. Now this works kind of like a compound shape. So when you double click in to edit, you won't be able to tweak the positions much. So if you want a bit more breathing room, instead of tapping, you can draw around the area. And that way when you double click in to edit, you'll have a bit more space to play with before your image breaks. Sweet! Oh, and also logo designers, please don't deliver your final files like that. Make sure you do your cleanup and make this a flat vector before you send it on to a client. And if you want a video explaining how to do that, just let me know in the comments.